My name is V. Jackie Jackson. I teach people all across the country, all 50 states, how to invest in real estate with tax liens and tax deeds. Life before real estate. Well, let me tell you something. It definitely was not easy by any means. Did I have any bumps and bruises in that process? You betcha. <laughs> you bet I did. Was it worth it? Absolutely. You know, I followed all of the advice from my parents and everyone in my family, which was go to school, get a degree, get certified, and then someday you may retire. I had my first child when I was 20 years old. I was a sophomore in college. I didn't even finish school at that time. And I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? I need a new plan. And quitting was definitely not an option. I went to night school to finish my college education and I went to school on the weekends. So no more party girl, none of those types of things in my, in my early 20s but that was a sacrifice. And when I came home at 10, 11 o'clock at night, my mom was waiting for me at the door and she was like, here is your baby. Whether I had to study or do a project or write a paper, my, my baby was on my hip and we were doing it together right there. Although I love Brooklyn, where I was from in Brooklyn wasn't always the best place to raise a child. Like down the streets was like the projects. I was really passionate in being very ambitious in life. One of the most triumphant moments was me making a decision to actually leave Brooklyn and go out on my own and try to implement what I had learned in school. So the reason why I transitioned to Florida, not only the sunshine where you can just stay outside and enjoy a better quality of life to give my children a better chance at having uh, increased quality of life. I wanted my kids to play outside. I wanted my children to go to great schools and just have a different experience than what I had growing up in Brooklyn. So what made me choose going into the military as a route to get into real estate? The opportunity to earn an incentive that would help me pay for my untraditional education by getting a mentor was the icing on the cake. So was that journey difficult? As a matter of fact, when I shared with my family that I was joining the military, they were like, wait, what? Like, you haven't done a push-up since you were like born. <laughs> so <laughs> you are not even that kind of person that can, you know, endure that. And I was like, you know what? Challenge accepted, okay? I failed miserably every single Time. And I was like, uh-uh, I didn't come here to go back home empty-handed. I came here to get my certificate, my bonus, and my check, all right? So I did everything possible. I studied harder than everybody else. When, when everyone was out, I would go to the gym. I would be running. I would be pushing myself further and further to make sure that the next time that I was tested, I actually would pass. And at the end of the training, it was six months long. I had to leave my children behind, all of my family and friends and everyone. So my whole entire life was on pause. And after the training was complete and I graduated, it was like the most triumphant feeling that I ever had in my entire life. So my transition from corporate America into real estate was actually a very, very interesting story. I never really wanted to leave my position. I actually loved what I did. I started investing in real estate simultaneously as working my full-time job. And I'm a huge advocate for staying employed, people. Well, there came a point where my real estate investing um, income was exceeding my annual salary from my corporate job. So in my corporate job, it became a conflict um, of interest and eventually I lovingly resigned and I retired. And that's how I became a full-time real estate investor is that I just continued my journey doing what I was already doing before. So what is my life like right now? Like the before and the after. There's been four things that I have been after. Financial freedom, 
time freedom, purpose freedom, and location freedom. That's what real estate has done for me.